Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the Blaze Premium LTE Gas Grill. Now, they of course offer a built-in model that's super popular for outdoor kitchens, but today we'll be looking at their freestanding model. Let's go. Let's take a look at quality. First things first, I like to look at the materials of the grill. Now the majority of this grill, the grids, the burners, exterior of the grill, all tested to be 304 grade stainless steel, which is definitely solid for this class of grill. And then there was another segment of parts, which would have been the interior of the firebox, the flame tamers, zone dividers, uh, the warming rack, and the interior hood liner and drip pan baffles, all tested to be 443 stainless steel. This is no accident that Blaze chose 443 for these particular parts as they will be involved in the, the flame area, a lot more heat cycling going on, and it's just a more malleable stainless, so it will actually have a lot more durability in those particular areas. Now the cooking grids of the LTE measured in right at about nine millimeters, eight millimeters thick stainless steel rods, which is great from a quality perspective. Uh, and it's also worth pointing out that the shape of the rods are basically triangular, so the flat on the bottom is absorbing as much heat as it can absorb and directing it up to the point of the triangle, which is where you get your sear marks. So you end up with the perfect steakhouse sear marks that you're looking for every time. The flame tamers on this grill weighed in at 14 gauge, which is good quality for a premium grill. Moving on to the heart of the grill, the burners, uh, the walls thickness of the burner measured in at three millimeters thick, which is great for a premium gas grill. To give you a little perspective for reference, uh, this tube burner from a practical class grill is less than one millimeter thick. Now for the fun part, performance. The high heat test showed us that at 20 minutes, all burners on high, the average temperature of the grill was 670 degrees, which makes this grill great for searing whatever you'd like. Now to give you a good frame of reference, um, a variance of temperature with the grill, we also run a all burners on low test for 30 minutes and we get the average of that, which for us on this LTE came back at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So as far as the variance is concerned, rock solid. The component that stands out the most to me from a performance perspective would be the LTE's flame tamers. Now they not only help by turning what would be flare ups into flame kisses, as we saw in our burger test, but they also help with the heat retention and increase the grill's temperature evenness. The heat zone dividers add even more control over your grill's temperature, allowing you to sear steaks on one side, while at the same time you can easily grill veggies or sausage or anything else on the other side of the grill. Now for the features. As an ignition source, the LTE features push and turn flamethrower style ignition, and there's one of these flamethrowers included with each valve of your grill. The straightforward design of this system makes it one of the most reliable on the market. And coupled with the fact that in the back of the grill, between each set of burners, there are crossover plates, which allow the gas to jump from burner to burner. So basically, as long as one of your igniters is still working and you can light that burner, you can light each other burner off of it. And if that doesn't cover you enough as a steady backup, this grill also features a flash tube ignition, which allows you to light the burners without having to remove any of the cooking grids or anything else. You just place a flame right at the top of the flash tube. It pulls the flame down the tube and to the burner. Now for you evening entertainers out there, the LTE also comes with two interior halogen lights. And as long as we're talking evening entertaining, each of the control knobs is illuminated with a really nice red LED light. Another great feature is the infrared burner on the rear wall of the grill. This allows you to use the optional rotisserie kit. And while we're on the subject of infrared burner, there is also an optional searing infrared burner that you can easily remove and replace that can fit on the left side of the LTE grill. After running the searing burner through the paces and putting it to a, several different tests, um, it, it, I never had any problems lighting it. It worked really well. It cooked fine for me. I give it a rating of better. For those of you that are purchasing the freestanding model, let's have a look at the cart's features. First up, I like the double walled doors, which are much sturdier and more durable than a standard single walled door. Just not so flimsy. The casters, all four feature swivel as well as locking casters so that you don't have to try to figure out which one moves, which one is permanently in a straight line, all that good stuff. It just makes it a little easier. 
Now there's a segment removed at the bottom of the grill cart floor for your propane tank and it comes also with a locking stainless steel bolt to keep it secure and from bouncing all around when you're moving your cart. And there's even a paper towel holder that's mounted to the left side door on the inside of the cart, which always keeps your paper towels at hand and that's a good thing. Another feature that I'd like to mention, and this is for people that are tight on storage, it also features two removable stainless steel side shelves. They can be removed in a snap, and like I said, it makes it easier to store your grill in less space. Now for a quick recap. As far as quality is concerned, this grill has high quality stainless steel construction and nice thick components which help with longevity. The quality of construction is worth noting as well. They use the right materials in the right places. It's just a great design overall. Now performance is where the grill stands out the most to me. In a premium class, uh, you know, this is primarily due to the great components, solid powerful burners, flame tamers, heat zone separators, the triangular design of the thick cooking grids, they just all combine for an outstanding result. From a features perspective, this grill has you covered from its flamethrower style ignition system and secondary ignition through the flash tubes uh, to the interior and exterior lights, loads of great features on the freestanding and cart model, and of course, the grill comes with a best in class lifetime warranty. So overall, this is a great premium gas grill with lots of great features, outstanding performance, and a lifetime warranty. If you're in the market for a premium gas grill, I definitely recommend checking this out. Now if you found this helpful, and I'm hoping that you did, then if you wouldn't mind, hit the like button. And if you'd like more content like this and other grill content, maybe even subscribe. Thank you for watching.